Thanks, Bill. And, you know, with the students in Wake, Johnston, and Cumberland counties, just to name a few going back to school, you know there's going to be a lot more traffic. Yeah, CBS 17's Laura Smith is live in Wake County. She's been following a school bus this morning. Laura, <laughs> how's traffic out there? Well, traffic is very light here at this time. When we were on the interstate, Liz and Bill, it was, of course, busy, but we are actually following the school bus. Left the lot at 515 this morning in southeast Raleigh. We have stopped at a few bus stops uh, in the neighborhood here in Apex, but no kids quite yet that we've seen get on this bus. Uh, the big story for you today, take it slow. There's a lot of fog. We noticed that visibility here in Apex where we are not so bad, uh, but traffic is light in the in around these neighborhoods, but it's dark. It's early, and so you definitely want to just be extra careful, be extra aware as you are traveling, uh, just because, of course, we've got those kids excited to head back to school here for the first day of school. We want to keep them safe. Of course, we'll continue to monitor these real-time traffic conditions, let you know if we come across any accidents or anything that could slow you down. The big story, though, just take it slow, be extra aware, especially around in and around those school zones. Live in the Weather Beast, Laurie Smith, CBS 17 News. And be sure to stop for any stopped school buses. Very yep. important safety tips there. Laura, thank you.